Hello, Cougar fans, and welcome to Cougar Coverage on the Alana Central Sports Network, where myself and Mr. Burke sit on each every week and discuss this week's Alana Central Sports. So let's start off with high school volleyball. Yeah, high school volleyball, um, they got a busy week. They had a busy weekend. They were over at Clinton for JV and varsity. Um, so they, they got a long, long day there, and now they got a couple big, important games this week. Um, they are uh, at Alana Bluffs on Tuesday night, and they're at Moreau Forsyth on Thursday. So a Tomahawk game on Tuesday, a, a Sangamo game on Thursday. Um, they did pick up a win over Midwest Central last week, um, so we won the county. We beat both Havana and Midwest Central, so that's always yeah, back to back wins. Yeah, that's good, good bragging rights, and uh, you know those are the teams in our area. Teams are really competing against, so those are nice. So hopefully they can pick up either a Tomahawk or Sangamo win this week. Obviously, two good opponents, and on the road, some long road trips ahead. Yeah, it's fun to win. I, they they now know how it feels. So yeah, they're ready sure. to keep keep winning, yeah. and keep having fun, and just keep enjoying. For Definitely. some of them, their last year, and the rest of them to keep it going. Exactly. So let's move on to uh, high school cross country. Yeah, high school cross country. Last week, we told you uh, our girls and boys teams were both state ranked over at Delavan. Um, they they put on quite the performance on Saturday. Both the girls and the boys team got second place at the Porta Invitational, which is a huge event. Um, you know, Sangamo teams, Tomahawk teams, bigger schools, everyone's there. Uh, so that's pretty pretty remarkable. Elena Carter finished third in the girls' race. I know she cut off over a minute of her PR, which is absolutely remarkable. Um, and the boys' side, Riley Dom got 15th and Zach Green got 26th. So, you know, both of those guys are contributing. You know, in, in cross country, you need every single runner to, you know, that place really matters. So those are huge performances from them. Um, they're at Bureau Valley this week for on Saturday for another huge event. You know, that's kind of what their season is, just all Saturday big events, and they just keep delivering. So um, they're going to have a shot to do well at the you know, state competitions, um, but they're, they're going to rack up some more prizes along the way here. Yeah, and it's just good to see our Atlanta Central guys keep, or our Atlanta Central kids, guys and girls, keep yep. going over there and just uh, just helping them out just as well as they'd exactly. be helping yeah. us out, keeping their success, not uh, here in Alliance Central, but over there for them exactly. as well. Exactly, and they're, yeah, they're having fun, I know, and uh, it's, been a, it's been a great thing, and you know they're having a lot of success, and it's just gonna keep getting better and better. So. And we've got some more kids having success over uh, uh, at Athens with soccer. Yeah, soccer, uh, they had a big win on Saturday, eight nothing win. Uh, Ryder Claypool had two goals and an assist in that game. Landon McGinnis had an assist. So it's a big day for some Alliance Central kids. Uh, they have a game or something pretty much every day this week. They're all over the place. Um, so we'll make sure next week to let you know how they're doing. But I know, nice, huge day for Ryder and Lane and getting in the assist column as well on the varsity levels. Yeah, big numbers. And speaking of big numbers, we've got some big numbers on the high school golf side. Yeah, high school golf, um, they're kind of getting into their fun part of their season now. So Tomahawk Conference is today. You know, they already loaded up the bus. They headed up there. So we're taking our, our six varsity guys to that. Um, you know, three names to really keep an eye on, Bailey Cruzy, Cooper Thomas, and Avery Higdon. They're all kind of seated in the, you know, the second through eighth, ninth, so that should be fun. Um, our team is actually seated third, just behind Delavan and Alana Bluffs. So, you know, a big day. We could have a shot to come away with the Tomahawk Conference. And our girls are headed over to Olympia to play in a two-person scramble there. So we got a couple pairings over there that will, you know, hopefully do well. Yeah, and they like success has been the word today, and yep. they've they've had a lot of success in the past. Hopefully, they can they can continue it on for the rest of their season. Yeah, it'll be it'll be fun to see you know their scores, and then you know obviously Sangamo's coming up in the regional mm -hmm. sectionals. But this will be fun one playing tough Coyote Creek Golf Course. But I expect our kids to do pretty well. And like I said before, they're really competitive, and they, they oh, love yeah. to just uh, you know for sure. Hopefully, they brag on their numbers. Yeah, hopefully they push each other, and uh, you get the top three really close to the top, and then the other you know four through six play well as well. So I think that's it for our high school side today. Let's move on into our middle school side, starting with the cross country. Middle school cross country. Um, last week at the Rushville Invitational, Jace Toland, um, he's a seventh grader, finished ninth out of 171 runners. So that's crazy. Uh, 171 runners in a race is a lot. So great job, Jace. Uh, they are home on Tuesday night for a meet. So come on out. Um, I know it's crazy here with all our constructions. We got to park in the front or park at the at the baseball diamond. But come on out and cheer them on. And then they're at WLB on Thursday. So um, I know that I mentioned Jace, but I know several other runners are doing well. So come on out and cheer them on this week. Yeah, and I'm positive there's going to be more names coming up for, for just, sure. yeah. uh, PRs and other other stats like this. That's, that's really really cool to see. And uh, middle school basketball is just now getting started. Middle school girls basketball, yeah, they are um, at Lewiston on Wednesday. So they're kicking their season off. I know Coach Worley he hasn't really had much time with the whole team. Um, but there's been several that have been in the gym for a couple weeks, so we'll see what goes on there. 
Uh, they've got to play a game, then they're off, and play a game, and then things get crazy. So, you know, we'll see what kind of success they have. Um, I know we got some good, good young players that were playing last year as fifth graders. Uh, we got some eighth graders that are, you know that have played for many years. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, and I know the middle school boys have been getting in the gym too. I talked sure. to you know the middle school coach, and he said that they're going to get in on like Sundays. Yeah, they've been couple, having open gym. Couple days so. in the week. So. Yep. I think that wraps it up for this week. Oh, we got middle school baseball. Oh, got, can't school forget baseball, about yeah, eighth grade night. Yeah. yeah. So eighth grade night tonight, middle school baseball. Hopefully the rain holds off. Um, but if it does, come on out uh, for eighth grade night. And then they're uh, at Virginia for regionals on Wednesday night. So, you know, if you want to make the long drive to Virginia, you can do that. If they win, they move on to, to the Pleasant Plains Regional. You know, so this could be the final week, or they could uh, surprise the people and move on. So. Yeah, and that's what we hope for to continue. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we'll be playing some familiar teams if we do. So. For sure, definitely. Now that wraps it that's up. That's it. Thank I you, Coach Burks, yep. for sitting down uh, this week. And thanks for watching. Make sure to look out next week for more Cougar coverage right here on the Alliance Social Sports Network.